my married my at the age of eight. But of course, it was not 100% a marriage, but they put the name that this girl belonged to that boy. And the reason that they did, they were worried, the Muslim, they used to come to ask, we want your daughter. If you don't give them, they make problem for you. And they wanted to have excuse that they are married, they cannot give it to you. That is why they, they did this at the age of eight, 10. And of course, they love, marriage love started later, but they used to do that. My father's name was Simcha. And of course, in per Persian name was Agai. And the, in Agai, in, when in Persian they want to call somebody, they call, I said, Mr. Desal Aga. And because her, his name was Agai, they cannot say Agai. They used to say Mullah Agai, Mullah is Rabbi. Some people used to think my father is Mullah. They put pressure on Jewish people to convert to Islam. They pretended that Muslim, but they keep the uh, Jewish religion inside. They, all of them, they had to pretend that even they put their name, Muslim name, Muhammad, Abdul Habid. And, but at the time, my, my father said no anymore. Uh, all our name are, is a Jewish name. Some of them, they went for, uh, to Mecca. From Mecca, they went to Jerusalem and came back. And they pretended that they came to Mecca. And because um, they wanted to be respectful. And the Jewish people, they make a mosque for Muslim to pretend that there is a mosque. And they used to come there and they used, they give food to the Muslim. And they are happy to come there. And the mullah of Muslim, they used to come there to give, uh, uh, talk to them. And after that, he used to go to Jewish people to have um, uh, um, vodka. They love it, and they forbid it for them. And they used to come to Jewish people to drink this. And of course, for Pesach, there was no masa ready. We had to make masa ourselves. I remember I was a child. They used to go to one house, and they make everything ready, and they used to cook the masa themselves. We, as a child, we used to go there to help them, and to, we enjoy so much to do that. And they, they enjoy to do that. So hard, but still they, they did it. They used to make yayin at home. And it was dangerous that if a Muslim to find out on their religion, forbidden. And I think the story you heard, sometimes they find out and they said, there's blood, there's no yayin, they kill. And they used to hide and to prepare everything, yayin, halik, um, maror, and everything, 100%. But they used to prepare. Uh, we used to li uh, listen to radio all the time. Um, for example, the time that the German attacked North Africa, oh, we were happy at least, uh, forget this part, and uh, gradually but come attack Russia. When they attack Russia, England came to uh, Iran to pass arms from through Iran to Russia. And we used to help them, and we were, uh, that sort of thing. And then, of course, sometimes we were so worried. What will happen tomorrow with God knows. Uh, my uh, elder brother bought a car, a uh, van. He used to go to south of Iran to take arm um, from there and go to north of Iran, to Russia, to deliver there. And so, so many people used to go this. On those days, near Pesach, somebody, a Muslim, came to in the street and shout, and the, the Jewish people, they did they, 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 that. A lot of Jewish people came to our street. And I used to go to on the roof, I, I used to see them. On your roof of your, your yeah, house? Yeah, and, yeah. I, we, we also, um, and um, oh, everybody, they closed the door. Of course, on the front the door and window over there was much stronger than here. Nobody can, and they wanted to break the door. And I saw a mullah come there, and he said, what they did, they are not the Muslim. 
they are Jewish people not, did nothing. If you are Muslim, don't follow them, come back. I saw myself. And the government, immediately they sent the police, the soldiers, all in the street. Nobody was killed. But all of them, they tried to do that on the bad Muslim. But they couldn't do that. And that's why it hurt me so much. We are so friendly, suddenly, to do this. And then I decided I have to think something else. I went to Tehran. Of course, <clears throat> the life was normal, not fantastic, not, uh, but there is a hard time as well. But uh, always I had in mind to come out of land, uh, in, uh, Iran. Because I thought Iran is not something important for me. Oh, I born there, but it's not that important for me. Um, I had to go, uh, my children to grow up in better uh, country, better education, better. That it was my aim, and I did. Uh, the, the main thing, try to learn more, to understand more, to try kind to each other. Thank you.